Now then take this heart and lead me in to love. Light the way for me. Without your touch, I cannot see. Ooh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Mm-mm-mm. How are you all doing today? A lot of y'all uh, um, are doing well. A lot of y'all enjoying nice spring weather. Um, and I guess if you were a flower or something that is growing right now, you would enjoy the weather where I'm at. And in these parts, it's been just off and on, off and on. Today is a a rainy day, so I guess the grass loves it. Um, I can't do any work outside um, because of the rain, because I'm allergic to it, for real, for real. So um, I decided to really, really, really uh, deal with this video that every uh, this situation, this this um, family that every body has asked me to make a comment about and want to know why I have it because of their you know perceive my defense of uh, them last time um, the news was made about you know Dwayne and Gabrielle and of course the main star of the show not Zaire Right? Um, Zaya Wade. Okay? Now, I'm probably going to come from a little bit of different space with this um, because I, I got to want to make sure I try to remain as open and honest as I possibly can. Okay? Now, and if most of y'all can just put your emotions away. And I told you, most black people are emotionally retarded. So it's kind of hard for them to deep dive when it comes to their emotion because they can only go one question deep. And otherwise, you're going to get shot or, you know, stabbed because emotionally, sometimes we cannot handle a conversation. So I'm going to ask y'all to just bear with me a little bit. And um, if you have somebody that in your family or in your vicinity that agrees with me, Please don't uh, be upset with them. Please don't harm them and abuse them because of the uh, indoctrination that you have been given and that you can't part with because of the cognitive dissonance is, is it's just too much. Okay. So now my biggest problem with Zaya Wade and her girlfriend was the fact that they done took pictures um, of their uh, situation kissing. Now, you might call me a big hypocrite, but I'm under the truth postulate that most of us at 14 years old was kissing. A lot of us at 14 years old was sucking, fucking, and doing every damn thing else, having sex, doing all types of stuff, but you hid it from your parents. Now, tell the truth and shame the devil. That's what I want to talk about, the hypocrisy. A lot of us lost our virginity very early, especially in a black community. Uh, and if you would be honest and start exploring when you actually lost your virginity, and 14, a lot of y'all was parents. I know girls that had babies at 14. Y'all already see Aretha Franklin had a baby at 12. So let's just stop the fucking hypocrisy right now. Now, what I do, I never thought I'd agree with uh, Andrew Caldwell. Golly. What I do agree with him on is if I had two 14-year-olds and they was... Uh, uh, a heterosexual 
14 year old couple. They wouldn't be kissing and taking pictures and putting it up on the wall for me to see because I wouldn't appreciate that. First of all, it's private. Second of all, um, you know, I, I, you know, maybe that's my old fashionedness that I have a problem with. It's like, listen, that's a public display of affection. And I personally think that, uh, private behavior should be done in private. So now, whereas kissing is nice and cute, I don't think that they should have took pictures of their ass kissing. Because I show sure would have took a, a picture at age 14 doing whatever I was doing. And then, you know, having a picture of it up on the desk. Because I would have got my ass beat. Now, a lot of y'all want to make the, uh, uh, you know, that. What in the world happened? I don't get it. But anyway, a lot of, uh, I hope I don't know where this cut off at, but I just looked at the scene and was, it was off. A lot of us are angry for all the wrong re reasons, in my opinion. Zaya's girlfriend is a trans girl, so she's a girl that wants to be, that, that feels like a boy. And he's a boy that feels like a girl. Okay. Either way it go, um, physically, if since for those of y'all who are worried about their sexual expression, if you want to know the truth, physically, if just say if they continue the relationship, right? Right now, and if they wanted to have if they wanted to express that he would be able to get her pregnant, right? Like I told y'all, every gay person I know, that's just me now. Most, I said me. I'm not saying that everybody knows because I'm old enough to know that most gay people that I know, what, what are you doing? Lay down. Have children. Because there's no wall. See, and y'all can't handle it. You know, you can't handle the, the, the thought process of it. So how would you feel if Zaya and the little girl uh, and her partner had a baby? How would you how would you define that? What would be your feelings about that? OK, because it's still. Uh, penis go to vagina, kind of like um, what's her name? Uh, kind of like Flame Monroe. A lot of y'all don't like. A lot of people don't like Flame, but see, I remember Flame from the late seventies, the early eighties. I remember Flame from the eighties, yeah, eighties, early nineties, over in Chicago. My point being this, Flame. Is a female impersonator, whatever. That's why I always thought her her ass without all these labels. But when that went off, Flame was a guy, and that had children, and he had children with a stud. Okay, meaning a woman, y'all, who is more um masculine energy. See, y'all don't understand that sexuality is so undefined. And instead of you just calming down and trying to relax on that, most of y'all would rather kill the people, call them names, do all types of crazy shit that make them want to hide who they are. And I'm saying, with all due respect to each and every one of y'all out there, you don't know enough about sexuality to be even getting angry. Because everything ain't just what you see. Everything is not just what you've been indoctrinated to believe. Now, y'all can say that same thing about that Bible, but why don't you say the other things about the other things in life that you've been indoctrinated to? Live and let live. And when you do that, and when you mind your own goddamn business, you will find out it's going to be hard enough to control your temple. 
hard enough to make examples and discipline and do purge and, and, and get the stinking thinking out your own vessel. You don't have time to be worrying about what nobody else is doing. And the more you begin to do that, the more you should be able to get your emotions under the control. Because right now, we are so out of control that this is not a kind of conversation I can even have with anybody unless I'm doing it on the internet. And that's sad. Because I did a program before. Why are black people so damn homophobic? Because I have a problem with two 14-year-olds on the damn cover. And that's why I'm saying y'all like seem like y'all exploiting these kids. Don't nobody need to see. My grandmama wouldn't allow me to be sitting up on 14 years old. And at 14, I was full-fledged having sex. I ain't going to lie. I was a show business kid. Because after I got up out to church, trust me, it was on and popping. How many of y'all was still a virgin at 14? Okay, that's all I got to say. I'm old school. So, and this is the kind of, even though I, it's a phenomenon that a lot of people are having a hard time with, this is the kind of shit that got me kicked out of church. This is the kind of shit that the people in the mosque was uncomfortable with me because once I start really beginning to delve into science and I love every leader and teacher that has ever come my way and I have learned from, but the more I start looking at science and all this stuff from a scientific point of view and not an arrogant point of view, which is what has been unleashed upon us, like us thinking that we're the only form of life in this vast universe. The more my thinking got bigger the more I start to see that I'm just one tiny grain of sand in the whole beach. What the fuck do I... Listen, y'all. All I'm saying is as black people, I understand purely well what a lot of us are thinking in terms of 14-year-olds up on the damn making pictures of them kissing. I didn't like that aspect. And I feel that now Gabby and Dwayne going too goddamn far. Y'all don't have to do that. There's another side of me that says, you know, um, you know, when I'm joking and I'm like, did the same handler get a hold to uh, Zaya that got a hold to um, what's Magic Johnson's uh uh, Sunday, I think the same thing. I'm like, when y'all both played from um, Miami, because a lot of that stuff, um, I personally don't think that you can teach anybody and make somebody gay. I do believe that when people see tendencies in an individual, a lot of times an older person will bring it out. OK, now that don't mean that they're old enough to receive that because they're kids. And listen, I'm just talking from um, my personal perspective. OK, I'm not a psychiatrist or doctor. I don't know what they would say. This is what I would say from living life like this. Um, If you allow people to grow up and allow their sexuality to come full force. They're going to have a preference. And just because they're a woman, they not they might not have a preference to be with a man. They might want a man, but you know, maybe it's to recreate. Maybe they don't want a man all the time. Maybe they don't like um most men, as I was looking at a survey, they did a survey between the men and the women. And most women didn't orgasm when they had sex with their husband. Uh, because um, whatever the intimacy problem was, whatever the situation was, but most of them that had lesbian relationships, 90-some percent of them women orgasm. Now, why is that? 
Because, see, most men think it's cool to just, oh, I fucked the shit out of her last night, dude. Yeah, I fucked her all over, the, up and down the goddamn place, nigga. She was fucking around. Man, we was, I rode that shit for five hours. And yada, yada, yada. And you ever thought about, she was like, get this motherfucker. Would he get off of me? This is not supposed to feel like a chore. There's no intimacy in it. There's no nothing in it. Just bang, 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 bang. But some of them never think about nothing like that. Absolutely not. So, you know, it's real important that we understand when we start talking about uh, Dwayne and, 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 and um, I mean, when we start talking about the whole sexuality, whole sexual experience, that we try to be open. And sometimes it's hard to do. I admit it and I get it. But if you take your time and just, just want to be open, want to understand somebody, want to get up out of your thinking, it's not going to kill you to just open up your mind for a minute and see how somebody else thinks. Whether you black or white, to just stop your ego for a minute. And the problem is a lot of y'all can't kill y'all ego for five minutes to try to feel what somebody else is feeling. And that's what the problem is. All right. So I ain't going to be on here alone. If we want to continue this conversation, you know, we can do it, but we would probably have to do it over on Patreon. OK, because it'll get deep and, and, and which we'll call it, uh, YouTube will stop the stream anyway. So you already know. OK, so leave your comments below, please. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the channel. Um, if you do or dislike it, if you don't, uh, uh, um, um, you can contact me at any of the email or description below. You can donate to the channel as well. You can join the channel. I don't even know if you can join just yet because it's, I don't even know if it's set up. So, but with that being said, I know you can join Patreon though. If you like what you hear, please like. Please subscribe and please share my channel. Okay? I love you all. And I hope I said something that uh, frees somebody today. Thank you. And I'll talk to you.